A TV crew recording an episode of Cops documented the death of their own sound man when they got caught up in a police shootout in Omaha. Jim Axelrod is here with how the reality show production turned very tragic. Jim, good morning. Well, good morning. Investigators say it was police gunfire that accidentally killed the crew member. The suspect, it turned out, was only armed with a pellet gun. But police say it looked like the real thing. Suspect wearing a black hoodie, white bandana. It was supposed to be just another episode of the long-running TV show, Cops. Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. A production crew embedded with Omaha police was at the scene as three officers responded to a robbery in progress at this Wendy's. The witnesses described hearing the suspect's handgun being fired and seeing the slide recoil with the shots. Omaha's chief of police says the suspect, a parolee with a long criminal history, was armed with a type of pellet gun that looks and sounds like an actual firearm. It became a chaotic scene. The cameraman made his way into the eating area and was able to get down and hold the camera up. Police released these images from the cameraman's footage showing how the crew's audio supervisor, 38-year-old Bryce Dion, got caught in the crossfire. When they encountered the suspect and the gunfire ensued, and it's a very dramatic video, the officers are returning fire Bryce is in that vestibule and gets struck by a round. We've got a cop's cameraman hit, white male. He's not conscious. He's slightly breathing. Dion, a seven-year veteran of cops, was wearing a bulletproof vest but was hit in an unprotected area and died. Cops truly is a reality show. It's not manipulated. It's not managed. It's not staged. It's all true, and it's real, and it happens as it happens. The robbery suspect was also shot and killed. Omaha's police chief says the officers involved are on the standard paid administrative leave pending the outcome of an investigation. Jim Axelrod, thanks, Jim.